For the most part, I usually have a band. For the most part, I usually have at least what genre a band is. Fuck. For the most part, I usually have at least what the genre. For the most part, I usually have at least the genre of a. Fuck. Fuck. How the fuck are you, used condom drinkers? Galactic criminal here. <laughs> We've got ourselves a band today that's shrouded in a bit of mystery. I looked them up real quick on the Google, and all it says on their band camp and on their Facebook is that they're a DIY band from Long Island, New York. It looks like they got themselves a female lead vocalist, and their genre is... Metal. Uh... For the most part, I usually know at least what genre a band is to sort of prepare myself for what's in store. This time, I do not, so we'll just have to watch this shit and find out. Monochromatic Black, The Herd, with a one, two.
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yep, still fucking sick. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking beast! Wow, fucking shit! <laughs> yes. Man, I was tripping all over my fucking words today so much just trying to get the fucking the words out at the fucking intro to this motherfucker. I was getting so fucking mad. <laughs> I was like... This better not fucking suck! I better not have wasted all this goddamn fucking time! And ha <laughs> ha Was it ever worth it? <laughs> Man, just... Ever since I was fucking like a teenager and like the punk scene and shit like that, I've always just had a fascination with female vocalists, yeah, because most of the time they're pretty fucking hot and this time is no exception. Just, there's, there's something something about it, man, that I've just always, always, always fucking enjoyed. And especially more so now that I'm into, the, like, the deathcore scene and the chicks that could do that fucking deep-ass fucking scream like that. You betcha she could do a better fucking cover of Reign of Darkness than I can. <laughs> just, just so fucking deep and brutal. And, like, sometimes the female vocalist that can do that style of vocal can't necessarily get as deep as some of the guys can it's just physically not a thing that, that they that they can do as just the person themselves is just not capable of getting to that point and she fucking did it dude i thought she had gotten as low as she was gonna get and then it went deeper dude just, <laughs> and i was i was set from there and can we talk about the fucking composition of this song dude i was i was so confused <laughs> but I think in a good way there was just this insane mishmash of like different rhythm styles and like tempos and shit like that which is always nice to have a variation like that to keep you on your toes but it goes from being like like a slightly heavy metal core to fucking like super heavy fucking death core with double kicking and shit like that going into a faster more like like thrash punk style of fucking rhythm and even with like the cadence and the vocals and shit like that some of the riffs felt a little more like hardcore punk and then going straight back into the fucking like metalcore deathcore style of shit dude and then the fucking the eerie sounding creepy nature of the of the more like clean style of moments with the vocalist was just a fucking cherry on top to give this like chaotic and creepy sounding fucking track just that much more of an edge just Oh my god! <laughs> I am, I am like, I'm really honestly very much surprised that the first fucking band that I try to react to ends up being the fucking banger I love when that happens. You know, I full transparency, some days I'll try reacting to like three or four bands before I find one that ends up being, you know, good enough that I feel for a fucking, for a video and just... <laughs> To just be fucking completely blown away right out of the fucking game is incredible. And I will tell you, right at the fucking start of this track, I've said this before, a lot of times, all it takes for me personally is like the first 10 to 15 seconds of a track to know whether I'm going to stick with it or not. And this one had me in the first 10 seconds. Absolutely a fucking, upon the first fucking drum beat and riff, dude, I was like, yup. This is going to be a banger. <laughs> and I was not wrong. I loved everything about this. Everything about this. And just like dropping into a cool fucking like crazy sweepy type solo, which fit the song perfectly. Again, I've said before, the chaotic nature of like some of the deathcore tracks can, uh, that kind of solo can lend well to that kind of thing because it's already chaotic and kind of keeping you on your toes. So a solo like that doesn't pull you out of like, maybe like a more melodic sounding uh, like death metal kind of track. You know, sometimes that can pull you right out of the motherfucker and this one did not and I'm losing my voice because I'm talking too much. <laughs> but, oh my God. That was fucking, that was fucking fantastic. I think it's, yeah, it says in the description here that this is a single that is, uh, was an early release, I guess, for an album they had planned to come out in 2018 if that motherfucker is out on the band camp right now. You can almost be goddamn guaranteed I'm gonna be picking that shit up.
Yeah, okay, so I'm, I've done enough gushing about this group. If you listen to it and, and don't feel the same fucking way, then I feel fucking bad for you. But hey, what did you think of this motherfucker? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.